So now we have the login page. Isn't it cool we also have a register page? Let's work on registration. So here we will first go and create the route. So if I say a new route, a Laravel Livewire route, that route is register route and we have created that. Let's go and we need to create a tab here or a simple link to move into the register uh, page. So I can go on the app.plate where we have all the links and I can simply replicate this one and call it register register and we have that isn't it cool we can move these login and register to the right so we just need to say justify between refresh oh but this should be login also had the right so we just need two element here so we can move login and register into a div so we just have two so two will be on the left and right we just need to give the padding so these padding are not required in these links and we can move that padding here and this is working nice cool so if i click on login if i click on home that's working login it's working register now it says you don't have to register component okay let's create that so php artisan live wire colon make register and it has created two file one blade one php file you already know these things and blade is inside resources views live wire register so i can simply say i am register to check is it working or not yeah this is working that's cool now i have already created some designs for this registration so i will just paste these designs here inside the register.blade and that will look something like this <laughs> so let's make this also correct so inside app.blade we have this yield and we can simply say this is actually width of full yeah so this is a nice looking registration form we have an these fields and simple button which is a form let's uh, see here so we have a title then we have a form and in this form i have given wire submit to prevent this means we need to create a submit function in our register component and then we have some input field so we have this input for name email password password confirmation and finally a submit input field which is going to submit this form okay let's go here and because this is a simple form and if i click on register now it says you don't have a submit method inside your register component so let's create that submit method inside register live wire component and method means simply a php function which is submit and here i just died them to check it is working or not reload click on register yes we are getting this diadem that means it's working cool but we need the data from these input fields the name email password and confirmation password so we need to bind the wire bind or wire model to some variable so we can say wire model and name so that should be like we need to create a public name variable this should be the case so we have wire model of name this means now if i can write something and before that i diadem dollar this arrow name let's now see so if i say sarthak and click on register yes i can see sarthak is there from the diadem from the php part inside the component that's cool but because we have a lots of field like name email password and confirmation password i'm going to create a form a variable called form which is actually a array and array is having the fields like name which is empty then email which is also empty then comes password which finally also empty and password confirmation and that should go 
empty form once more and because now we have this form what we can do we can simply go here and instead of wire model name we need to now say wire model of form dot name so in that way if i go here and now if i try to submit register now it says name property doesn't exist because now we have form instead of name so reload and give sarthak register and you can see name is sarthak so let's do the same for other fields and we can simply do that by pasting here and changing the name like this then for password oops comes password then comes here for password confirmation like you have okay so let's try once more so just typing anything for checking purpose click here and that should be email dot com and yeah everything is there now you can see I have typed anything literally anything and these confirmation password and password doesn't match so let's do the validation so to validate things we need to go here on this submit method I can simply say validate or you can create the real-time validation you probably know these things so now email is but remember that should be form dot email is required required but that has to be a real email okay then it's uh, form dot name which is just going to require and then we have a form dot password which will be required and confirmed so confirmed like this okay because there is some error so if I'm not giving anything we will get the error on our register if I click we have this uh, and on in this error bag you can see we have this errors now let's show the error and we also have the error field in our comments here we have at error name of the error and then show it let's copy that go to register and just below every input field I will give the name and show that error then for email show that error and remember once again that is form dot name I forgot that form dot email and finally form dot password okay I'm not giving anything for password confirmation because that include inside the password cool reload click on register whoa we have a pro proper validation and now really register the user and then redirect to login page.